Check this out, guys. How cool is this? This is the frunk on the F-150 Lightning. It is literally an F-150 pickup truck with no engine in the front. It is a frunk, an empty space for storage. It is so cool. Check this video out because I am going to do a walkthrough of the F-150 Lightning. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? I did a thing. I went to go check out the F-150 Lightning. Um, it was a pro edition. So this is my current uh, 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150. It's a 2018. Um, I've done a couple of little things already. Um, I got the paint matched uh, tonneau cover, which actually looks pretty sick on here. It looks pretty clean. Um, I had big plans for this truck. Um, and then I went to go see an F-150 Lightning, but um, I want to kind of drop it and keep it on the stock rims, uh, do full 85, uh, E85, uh, full bolt-ons. Um, I don't know, had some pretty cool plans. And then I went to go see an F-150 Lightning, but um, let's go check it out and let me know what you guys think. Let's go. So here we are inside the F-150 Lightning Pro. Um, I think that shifter thing that like folds down like that, super cool. Um, the actual uh, display is is pretty nice. It's a little bit bigger than the one in, in my current truck. Um, but just stepping into the outside here, just to, to get a full view of it, um, I, I think they did a fantastic job with the design. Um, the uh, charging port or, or the door is literally exactly the same as the Mach-E, um, but it's fine. It works. I like how they put F-150 on it like that, just overlaid it. Um, front headlights look super, super cool. I think they, they are very different, um, especially because this is a pro model and they didn't go with like halogen headlights. I think that's cool. Um, it has a bunch of uh, uh, electric uh, outlets on there, which is really cool. Um, it has a little light uh, just so you can light the the uh, interior of that uh, frunk space. And how cool is this? There's literally a frunk on an F-150. Like there is an F-150 truck with no engine in front of it. Like I, I, this is it's it's so cool. Now, you know, that drops down uh, the the grill. I eh, it, it could look better. I mean, maybe wrapping it and, and paint matching it. Uh, to the actual body of, of, of the car might look a little bit better, but uh, we'll see what, what happens on the aftermarket. Um, this cover, I have no idea what this does. I literally spent a couple minutes trying to open this up because I was like, this has to have some sort of function. Like they wouldn't just put that there for no reason. So let me know in the comments below if you guys know what the function of that cap is because I literally had no idea. I was trying to open it and literally did not open at all and i talked to the sales rep and he says there was a bunch of people messing with it and they couldn't get it open um here is the window sticker forty five thousand dollars for this car um if you factor in the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit that is an insanely good deal for this car like i would snatch this up in a second i wish i would have put an order in on one um i kind of uh, regret it now um but super cool um i love the wheels um the uh, lightning badge on the back there looks super cool. Um, the tail lights are really cool. I mean, really cool design. They like, you know, pop out and they're like 3D kind of. Um, I think they, you know, it still looks like an F-150, but the little subtleties, the uh, lightning badge, um, tail lights, headlights, you know, you can definitely tell this is not your standard F-150. Um, it does have outlets in the back there, which is also pretty cool, very convenient, um, especially if you're using this as like a work truck um, and you need to power something, you know, you just run it straight from your car. Uh, I think, I don't know, the design, they absolutely killed it. It still is functional. It's a work truck. Um, they even left the little uh, stepladder thing in there, um, which is super convenient. And this is the Pro. This is literally the XL equivalent of the lightning like this is the standard basic like bare bones truck and it has so much to offer like it's i was mind blown like it's so cool um but yeah there you guys have the other side here tail lights look super cool um love the lightning badge um i just think it looks absolutely amazing Back seat, nothing too exciting, just a regular standard back seat. It has some outlets and stuff um, back there. I'm sure on like the higher trim levels, 
um, you know, you get some more fancy features, but I think this car is, or truck, I'm sorry, is so well equipped for what it is. Like, I mean, think about it. After the $7,500 tax credit, you're getting this car for like, you know, $37,000, $38,000. Like it is insane, insanely good deal. Um, so I absolutely love it. Um, I am really considering putting it in uh, as soon as the ordering bank opens back up. I w I'm seriously considering putting in an order for one because it, it is so cool. Like the amount of features and, and the bang for your buck. Um, very cool. Look at all the uh, integrated LEDs, um, everything. It's just it has so much to offer. All right. So there you guys have it. That is the F-150 Lightning Pro um let me know what you guys think in the comments below i think it's a pretty cool truck um seeing it there in person is really cool unlike the cyber truck that has been mia for years um i actually have a deposit down on a cyber truck but god knows when that's gonna get here so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below f-150 lightning do you guys think it's cool um there are some pros and cons to it uh we already have the the mach -E. And the range, you know, 230, 240 miles for a full uh, charge um, is not a lot, especially for a truck. Um, this F-150 EcoBoost, it has the max tow package and it has a 36-gallon uh, tank. I can get about 700 miles of range from a full tank of gas on this F-150, which is absolutely ridiculous it's not necessary but it's nice to have especially for like road trips and things like that like we travel maybe do like two three four hour road trips all the time and uh yeah it, it would be a pain in the butt to do it with a uh electric car at least the the, the maki or the f-150 the way they are right now um i'm not dropping 80 grand for a lariat or whatever they're you know the higher trim level that has the bigger batteries um this car is 45 grand um, sticker price if you can get it for that. Um, but it has 230 miles of range, which is not a lot. So I don't know. I think the uh, the EcoBoost uh, for now it is, is the way to go. Um, you know, 700 miles of range from a full tank of gas is absolutely amazing. Um, and, you know, we have the Mach-E, but yeah, the Cybertruck, we have that on order. I don't know when the heck, if ever it's going to be released but seeing the f-150 lightning in person is really cool like it's actually it's like an actual thing that's already out um on like the cyber truck uh but let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you think the f-150 lightning is worth it um i think at least the pro for forty-five thousand dollars, especially especially if you can still get the tax credit for it i think it's an amazing deal um it is an absolute steal but the order bank is closed like you can't even order one right now like they have like a two-year backlog or whatever to get the ones that already have orders delivered um so it's gonna be insane like there's you can't you literally cannot even order one right now which is actually the same thing that happened with the Mach-E um like at the beginning of the year they closed out orders for I think the premium trim level and then the GT um or something like that uh, but like the premium Mach-E, you, if you go on the Ford website right now, you can't order one, which is insane to think about. But same thing with the Lightning. There's a backlog. Um, you know, it's in high demand. The chip shortages, blah, 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 whatever's going on. Um, there's a backlog. So I don't know. I Putting in an order now or at least letting my sales rep, uh, you know, to letting him know to let me know to you know when when the order bank opens back up i don't know it might it might be cool it, it, i might consider it especially if the cyber truck is going to take another three four years i love the looks of the cyber truck it's just so unique so i think i would definitely keep my uh my deposit on that and just wait and see what happens uh but the f-150 lightning is super cool it's different uh the frunk of course is you know it's it's so cool that it's the automatic uh frunk uh you know op opens automatically especially on the pro version you would think that they would put that on the higher trims um but it's actually a pretty well loaded truck for like the base i mean it's comparable the pro is comparable to the xl right uh trim level on the f-150 so i think it's pretty it's pretty well uh equipped for a standard um you know base level truck especially with the big screen 
Um, so the sales rep was telling me that the uh, the you know the higher trim levels have uh, the very large uh, vertical screen, kind of like the Mach E does. Um, but the Pro has a more rectangular screen, which I actually like better. Like I really enjoy the um, like this type of screen. Like the Pro has this screen just a little bit bigger, and then the uh, you know the higher trim levels have like the really long. Uh, screen kind of like the uh, Mach E but let me know what you guys think in the comments below is the F-150 Lightning worth it do you guys like it um, literally the only inconvenience that I see about it is the range and that is a big deterrent for a lot of people especially for trucks like if you're going to be towing things the range is going to drop significantly um, but other than that I think it is a super cool truck I would love to have one if I could get my hands on one uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.